So I'm here to talk about Johnny Five. It's a it's a project that I've been working on for the like last two or three months, um, and it's to basically make robots. I mean, cut cut straight to the point. It's for making robots. Um, Johnny Five is a JavaScript Arduino programming framework. Which, when I say that, I mean, yeah, actually, JavaScript. I don't mean some code on, uh, you know, that that all of the the logic is handled here, and then I pipe some data. I mean, actually, there's a minimal piece of code, which I'll get to in a second, that's on the microcontroller, and all the rest of it, the logic, the programming, the brain, is written in JavaScript. So traditionally, robotics has a, a long history and a very verbose amount of programming languages that it's been written in. Autopass, C, C++, Logolisp, Java, Python, Pascal, Robot, C, the list goes on. But I don't want to write any of those. Really, I, I actually don't want to write any of those. Am I setting this off, by the way, Emily? Am I, no? OK. That would be awful, because I move around so much. I just want to write JavaScript, because like Max said earlier, JavaScript is fun, right? So Node is fun. So why not make robots fun? So why? Why specifically? You're like, dude, you're insane. You can already do this in C++, right? There's all kinds of documentation, all kinds of snippets we could just copy and paste to do things. So why reinvent wheels? Why? Because hardware is blocking and synchronous. So you are like, yeah, you're right. Holy shit, it really is, right? Because when I say do something, Hardware says, all right, I'm going to do that right now. And it says, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Okay, I'm done. It just blocked everything else that it couldn't, that particular thing couldn't do anything until that particular thing was done. So what's better suited to deal with bullshit like that? JavaScript, streams, evented, asynchronous. It's like, hey, do something. Ah, oh, cool, you're done. Great, I'm going to do something with that information now. Or... Do something, do something, do something, do something. What, 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 what? That's like a stream, I think. <laughs> so I think they're a perfect match. I think they're a perfect match. And I think anyone who says otherwise is wrong. So how are we going to do this? How am I going to get all of the program logic off of the board and into my node programs? First of all, I'm going to get a sweet tweet from Julian Gautier being like, dude, have you seen this protocol that I wrote? This is actually a standardized thing that comes with the Arduino. And Julian wrote an implementation in JavaScript. Neat. There we go. Check. Done. I.O. Taken care of. And that's built on top of Chris Williams, a.k.a. Voodoo Tiki God's amazing serial port, which uses streams. Where are we going with this? We're going to show you some cool stuff in a minute. But there was some inspiration. This guy, Cam Peterson, made a great API with a the, with the, the library called Duino. The only downside is that he tried to roll his own protocol with strings. It was weird. He was like a period to end like a statement. So what happens when you have floating point values that have periods in them? Anyway, long story short, I dumped that pretty quickly and moved right along to start building Johnny Five on those other way awesome technologies. One moment, please. <sighs> Refreshing. So as you can see, the whole idea behind Johnny Five is be as simple and obvious as possible. When the board, that's the board, is ready, make an LED on pin 13 strobe. <laughs> When the guy walks across the stage, trip over the thing. So that goes a little something like this. But that's like pretty boring, right? That's blink, 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 blink. Especially when we already support accelerometer, button, compass, LED, joystick, motor, ultrasonic ping, proximity, infrared, range infrared, sensors, of arbitrary sort, servos and sonar. The hell can we do with all this stuff? Let's make a joystick controlled robot claw. Yeah. So what do we need? We're gonna need a joystick and a servo. It's gonna look a little something like this. Now follow along if you will. It's pretty obvious. A servo, a joystick, 
Set of the, ser set of the servo, listen for events on the joystick. Take the value of the joystick and set it to the claw slash servos position. Note that it's very little code to do this. That's my thumb. Yes. So that's pretty neat, right? Fairly simple. At least I think so. But I'm also like high on myself right now. Why not make a joystick controlled laser? <laughs> so actually the I'll just get straight to it. The laser is really just an LED uh, that is a laser pointer. Right? So again, follow with me. Really easy. It's pretty much the last program, except we're gonna create a panning servo, a tilting servo. And then we're going to use the, the Y value and the X value of the joystick to move it up and down and side to side. Still pretty easy, right? I think so. And that looks a little like this. Again, my thumb. Starring rule. So um, I mentioned Max earlier, right? And because he's a pretty awesome guy. Don't you agree that this would be awesome for terrorizing cats with? I mean, like, th think about it, ready? It's pointing at us right now, but wait a second. Oh, you could do this forever. And it's, it's fairly, fairly sensitive to how much you move the, the joystick. You can, like, you know, adjust it just ever so lightly and twitch it around a bit. Yeah, essentially. So this is pretty cool and all, but I'm going to show off because I'm a show off. I want to show you what really, really it's like to have the fire hose that's just of data and why streams are really, really important to the whole concept of programming hardware. So uh, clear this and run this. So real quick, on this guy, I have a compass. It's actually a magnometer which means it's, it's calibrated to look for uh, magnetic north, except in Boston. There's a slight different in, uh, inclination here, which I didn't bother adjusting for, so it's like five degrees off, but it's cool. Don't worry about it, I promise. So this happens, it's cool, don't worry about it. Run it a second time. Yes. This is me moving this around. <laughs> and it's vented, so I have it move it a second, and I start moving again. <laughs> and cool. Like I said, I knew that. But that's. Oh, you little wise guy. <laughs> so if, if, if their talks about streams weren't like ridiculously awesome and illustrative, I'd say that this totally is. I mean, you could actually see like that thing is producing so much data. Like this is actually throttled. What you're seeing, it, you wouldn't, it wouldn't even make sense. It would just be like <laughs> on the console and it wouldn't even be fun. It'd be pointless that I color coded it the whole nine yards. So. <laughs> streams, streams, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this one is fun because it's fairly simple. It's not going to move around, but it's still going to do interesting things, I hope. If not, I actually have video of everything just to, you know, in case things go awry. Now, for the big guns, hold on a second. Let me uh, actually stop that. 
All right, trash cans. I have a video of this. It's pretty fascinating and fun. Think obstacles. Oh, no. All right. We're working on wireless. It's coming soon. Well, whatever. It, there, there's some lower level issues that need to be dealt with before we can support uh, taking over the RX and TX pins. Kill the battery. I seriously. All right, hold on. I'm just gonna shut it off for a second and let it chill out. But I do have a video. We'll watch the video and then we'll try it again. <coughs> so this is what it was supposed to do. Oh, it's a wall. Oh, I don't like walls. Wait, I want to go this way, maybe? Oh, I'm bumping into this wall. But that's a wall. Wait, what if I go this way? Hmm, could be a way through. That, but that's a wall. Stay over there, wall. I'm on my way. All right, so... Maybe it doesn't like the trash barrels or something. Here, let's give that another try. Come on! Come on, little guy, you can do it. Come on, come on. Oh, oh don't get confused. The whole entire program running this is written in JavaScript. All that's coming down the microcontroller to the program is bytes, it's just information about what's going on. So what's happening is, is it's getting, it's saying, ah, I know what degree we're looking at right now, and I know that a thing is now too close to me in that degree, and then it's saying, move the servo, it's sending another piece of information out that says, just move the servos, and it just navigated its way out of that corner. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. <laughs>